What is going on, everybody? Jay Marble here, and we are back with another episode of Let's Play. Ooh, excuse me. Let's play Satisfactory. Um, real quick before we get started, I am going to save. Um, this is my YouTube series playthrough. Um, you'll notice that this when I call or when I finish the hub upgrades, like the last upgrade didn't render in properly the ship and part of the frame. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just if this happens to you, just I'm gonna go to the main menu. So I saved. And then we're just gonna continue. I uh, currently not signed in. Let's go to a second. Okay, there we go. Um and we're gonna just jump back in and see if that fixes that issue. I believe it does. If not, then I think if you disassemble it and reassemble it again, it'll be fixed. So we'll try that if it um you'll notice uh when we load back in all the lights and i'll explain the lights here in a second uh what i mean are red uh, on our factory um on our little mini factory uh take it a minute to load that's probably because episode one is currently uploading right now um should be up ready to go in like probably by the end of this episode so um and then i'm hoping to get at least one more episode filmed today maybe um, so those should be out today. So you'll hear it. You heard it. Uh, I kind of turned on the sound because I noticed I went back and listened to it or watched the start to episode one, and the beginning was very loud, uh, the game volume, and that also may in turn make uh, the rest of the game loud because uh, the factory volume can be quite the factory noise can be quite loud. That did fix our problem there. Um, so now we have a normal. Um, okay, so you'll see uh, all the little red lights. So these lights um, are kind of indicators so you can see from a distance uh, how things are going. So red means that is not performing. It is not, ha it is not working. So right now it's red because power. There's no power. This one is yellow and this one is red. They're both Means they're not working, so they need fuel. We're burning through this leaves very quickly, so we need to get through this fast. Um, so we're gonna load this up, load this up, drop the, and then flick this on. Now you'll see everything turns green. Um, if I was to disconnect this and take these out, it's yellow now, and that means it's not operating. It means it's powered. Um, but it's not operating them for whatever reason. It's not receiving resources because this isn't pumping out any. It usually means it's not receiving resources. Um, so if we connect that up and we put these back in because let's say it's got its resources, it'll be green like it normally. So we can see things, everything's operating normally. That's why they put, I'm assuming that's why they put the there, those there so we can observe from a distance what's working and what's not. Um, so, we need to address our power system. Big time. Because we are burning through fuel very quickly. So, there's a quick way to do it. And we'd have to come back and refractor it. Or I could take some time and I can actually do it the way I want. We're gonna see what that's gonna cost. Uh, I'm gonna get this ingots taken care of so that we it's not in my inventory anymore. Um, basically, my idea is why we're waiting for this. I can throw down a constructor. Um, I can even throw down a. Um, I can throw down two uh, storage boxes and connect them up, and I can just load up all the grass I have, turn on the constructor to make biomass with leaf. And that'll make us a bunch of biomass with leaf. And so that's done, then I can switch the recipe to biomass wood, throw in all my wood, and make the biomass out of wood, and then we'd have that. I could do it that way, and that would be the fast way, and I might actually consider doing that just right here by the factory. Because um, this is not working on my permanent power source. We're only producing 40 megawatts from these two uh biomass burners when we can make a biomass burner that single 
you know, one of them produces uh, 30 bio, uh, 30 megawatts of power. So we're going to set up a small power grid. Um, that'll be our early stage main source of power. So I'm going to start with getting base building. It's going to require 200 concrete, 100 iron plate, and 100 iron rod. Concrete. How are we looking? Oh, we got it on that one. Okay. And then rods, I believe we've got. Sorry for my dogs barking in the background because they're probably trying to play with my son. And we've got the plates, so perfect. We can just send this off. So we'll come back over here to our terminal. Send off our two concrete, our 100 plates. Well, oh, and we'll send off our 100 rock. Press the big red button, step out, and Next look stage. at it go. You have unlocked several structures. They need to provide the first needed to build basic factory infrastructure and improved overview. Building these will provide a grid for more advanced organizing and sectioning of your factory. I think that should be an okay volume. Might even still be quiet now. So that takes off. Now, if you see up there, build base elevator, pod will return in a minute. Um, while it's gone, we can go and pick our next thing, which is going to be logistics. So we're going to need 150 iron plates, which those are going. We're going to need some more iron rods, which those are going. And we're going to need 300 uh, wire. So we're going to go ahead and build our what I was talking about uh, with our constructor. Uh, let's just do that like... Right over here. So let's put a constructor down. Uh, let's actually start with storage container here. And a storage container. This is why I cannot wait to be, do this. But for now, we're going to run out of grass soon. So uh, we need to go get copper. So. I think this will work. It might be ugly, but it, it will. So, whatever we put in there comes out here. This is gonna make biomass leaves. So then we go back over here to our hub, go into our hub chest, grab all of our leaves, and throw them in. So need to hook this up to power, so. Um, Temporary. Milestone exchange uh, concluded. Fix it freighter reentry complete. This is gonna produce biomass. You know what, actually? Grab that. I wanna change this recipe to wood because the wood is actually gonna be it produced a lot faster and we're already below half. Um, so we're gonna do wood first, and here's the reason. That took in 120 per second, or per minute, right? 120 leaves per minute. So it was producing at 50%. This takes in 60 and we'll get 20 per, 300 per minute. This is gonna burn through this wood really quickly and produce us a lot of biomass really. Um, so we're gonna do wood first and then we'll worry about grass. If we have to keep grass to I might take one of those stacks and split it to fuel up to finish off the wood, but um, let's check on our rods. We need 150. We're, oh, that's right. We have a chest. Uh, 52, so we're 127, and then uh, 70. Okay, so real quick, why we're, you know, actually, uh, let's go get... Copper wood. And then I'm going to kind of sidebar a little bit um i think what i what i said uh and i'm gonna as we're running up here is a comment on this uh i said last episode or the first episode um that i'm gonna try to keep the episodes around 45 minutes i'm gonna ca caveat that i'm going to and i'm gonna show you guys here in a minute i'm gonna have basic like goals and i think having one or two goals per episode is a good thing uh 
early game we'll be get away with uh being able to complete like certain production like, as a goal um because it won't take long but once we get up into like making complicated production like it might take an episode um just especially if we're starting out with a new factory like i plan on uh with this build having multiple factories um set up so we'll have like a factory for different tier products so like we'll have one for uh reinforced iron plates one for uh rotors one for uh what is the other thing modular frames and then have them built as a uh, in a way to where i can have a transportation system on the bottom if that makes sense so it would be ground floor transportation system so i could lay a lot of foundations around basically connecting things so we get trains and then we can eat furniture even further but for close proximity with trucks and stuff i can if i've got rotors far off in one place i could have a basically a highway with trucks transporting rotors back and back to the main hub where i have say the uh i don't know what those are smart plate of adaptive smart plates being produced somewhere in a factory near where i have the reinforced iron plates i don't know so that's kind of my thought but like everything would be built on a higher level and then there will be like basically where ores come in and get like smelted would be on like the ground level along with like the shipping and receiving area for like the trucks and then they would have like fly ground so you'll, hopefully I'll be able to show you guys what I mean. Uh, I'll remember. Um, but real quick, while we're doing this, if you click over here, either like while you're in a build menu or while you're, you could go to your inventory and you'll notice when you hover over the right side of the screen, uh, uh, let me get to where here, okay. You hover over the right side of the screen, you'll notice that sh there's a shadow. Um, when you click that shadow, it brings up this to-do list. Um, real quick, uh, let's fill this up. Uh, so we have boom, 50, 50. You know what? You can have eight, two, 50. Okay. This is still producing. We're already, yeah. Okay, cool. By the time this runs out, we'll be able to throw some of that biomass in. Anyways, so while this produces wire, we're going to click over here and we're going to make a to do list. Um, so we're going to go checkbox. Um, we're going to, uh, create our grid checkbox, automate wires, they automate, I'm, I, I'm probably, automate, uh, biomass. Well, our goal for this episode is to get these three things done. Create a power grid, automate wires, and automate bi biomass. Um, but we don't have to be doing that as far as for basic supplies. Um, so first things first, I think creating a power grid would be great. I think by the time this wood guns out, we'll have quite a bit of biomass to power this grid. I not turn the power back up? Okay. I'm thinking my power grid, my factory, main factory is going to be right here. Our starting factory that's going to be fed by these iron ores. We have those there. I think I'm going to move all that biomass automation over here. So I think, actually, you know what? I just thought of. We're going to have a two story. factory or our i guess area so the bottom floor will be the automation of biomass um and then on the top floor will be the actual biomass burners i like that because I don't have access to like stairs or anything yet and getting up there. Well, you know what? No, we're fine. Um, I'm going to put this power slug away. Continue. 
we max we maxed our power. Yikes. Uh okay. Well, no need to fear. Put a biomass burner on somewhere. Getting a little jam packed, this is why I want to get this organized and get going. So now I'll just connect that. Uh take that for now because it could be Flip it back on. So, I mean, that gradually should have. Yeah, okay. Or, uh. Yeah. Not gradually. Drastically. There it is. Drastically improved our power reach. So. 57 pounds. Need iron. So, you'll notice I do that. I was talking about it earlier and I got sidetracked slide while you're sprinting um I, I mentioned it in episode one and i never did uh thought on it uh you hold c or crouch to slide while sprinting you could slide underneath your belt there um if you are sliding and you jump you kind of do a little faster jump so you notice if i'm sprinting and jump it's kind of slide and then jump you kind of go a little higher a little farther you do it really fast you kind of just launch yourself doesn't work when you're going uphill it does work downhill or on flat terrain this little good way to get over things you can get up a little higher things um we're gonna do and i did not add this in my to-do list take those steps faster um throw this down facing up down here. Feed that in. Down, but oh, I don't have enough wire. Okay, no worries, I'll throw down a craft bench really quick. Check on that later. Uh, then we're gonna come up here. We're gonna do. We're gonna automate our wires first. Um, I'm actually gonna need more concrete, so I'll wait for the concrete to come. So, um, so we'll pick this up. Flap down. Sometimes it's easier just to go right into the tab menu. Sometimes I'll switch. You'll just see. I just kind of go around back and forth. How you do it? Um, oh, we iron plates. So let's make enough screws to make two. And I like uh, it just depends on how it works for you. But if it works for me, is like when, especially when I'm making I reinforced iron plates earlier, and I just want like two. Uh, if you just click off uh, or click on the whatever you like, if you're making screws for it, and you see like how many reinforced iron plates you're making um once you click reinforce iron plates like i did it just stops the don't burn through whatever plates and screws you or plates and rods you have or rods you have um, oh yeah when you're trying to kind of manage your resources you don't want to burn through stuff that you may not use for a while oh fuse broken uh, we must be out of fuel. Um, okay, so the wire is selected on this. Sorry, I'm just burning through this really quick. Make sure copper ingots are selected. Down some cables all up. The cables can reach pretty far, uh, these power poles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going right, right here. There. And then... When we're a little bit more resource rich, uh, we will clean this up. That will get going once we get power going. You know, you... Yeah. See, that's why you got to make sure you're selecting things. And really, I'm 
after we are out of fuel. Those burn slower because they're producing less fuel or less uh, power. But we have enough now where we can pop this up. This is going to last us much longer. So this is 120 per minute and per minute. Much, 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 much. So now we are okay for power for a while. We can focus on other things. I'm gonna smelt up this copper really quick. All right, so I finished crafting up uh, all that copper into wire, cables. I made some cables, uh, just under 100. I got enough cables or wires for uh, logistics milestone. We're gonna check our bronze with you. Why are we not? Okay. We have enough rods now. Get whatever plates we have. Six. And let's get our logistics up. So we'll drop in our plates, rods. 300 fire. So I didn't point it out earlier, but uh, when we upgraded a base building, we got the ability to build a lookout tower, one, two, and four meter foundations, one, two, and four meter ramps, a four meter and a one meter wall, uh, basic wall. Uh, with upgrading logistics, we are now able to make a conveyor splitter, conveyor merger, a conveyor lift, Mark one, and we get the productivity display. So our next tier here, or our next research to finish out tier one is going to be the field research, which will give us a map. Uh, we will be able to do the MAM, uh, the molecular, molecular analysis machine. We'll be able to make an object scanner. We'll be able to make a personal storage box, a beacon, get another hand slot, and we'll get three more slots. And that's at the cool price of 300 cot wire, 300 screw, and a hundred steel plate. Now, my goal for this is to have that all automated. Or we don't even have to make, we don't have to handcraft the screws. We should be able to have a factory pump out 300 screws. For this. So, to get that started, I think we're gonna need power. We're gonna take our four meter foundation here. Make sure we're above any, I like to make sure I'm above any like rock Jetting out just for aesthetics. I hate when like a rock is jetting through my factory. Okay, so then we're gonna place these three wide. I go. So what I want to do is I'm gonna go into my build menu. I don't. Oh, and I'm gonna go to tab four, and I'm going to put. Um, excuse me. Tab three. I'm gonna put foundations. One, two, and three. Ramps is four, five, and six. Then I'm gonna to go to walls, go to four. And I'm gonna or I'm gonna to go to uh nine and make my walls one two. Um and then back around um at four I like to make conveyor belt one, leave a space, excuse me, merger splitter, conveyor belt one, merger splitter, conveyor belt. Bear belt, bear lift. Thank you. Okay, so then we have a little bit there. Okay, um, I want to go into organization, however, and pull out the lookout tower, and we'll place that. I hop up here. Take a look. So, I want to go. I switch to zoop by pressing R. So now I can. That's one, two, four, five. Now, if that's five, I go. Hate it. Don't like it. One more. Yeah, I need the chainsaw. I really need it. I can get away.
might have to add more to the back, but okay, we'll just go ahead and pull this down. Take a little fall damage. Okay, so uh, at 10, I don't need the emote, so I'm going to put biomass burner. I'm going to pull out my biomass burner. I need wire. Fire. Oh, you're not. Yep. Uh, that's definitely going to hinder how much concrete I thought I was making. This is why you always got to check your stuff. Yellow light up here. Oh, come on. Dang it. This has not been going at all. Well, go make it first. So what I'm going to do instead just for a little bit while that goes I will be back Got some copper. Okay, so I went and picked up some more leaves of the stacks. Um, and got about two stacks worth. Um, me and then I'll at least while we do this uh, building up. Um, I noticed I did not check off power grid automate wires and didn't finish it I wasn't connected how do you Great power grid. That's what we're doing. So back to biomass burner. So biomass burner, if you notice, has connector on the back. There's not really a front, but I mean, I think for me, it's what I like to do is I like to pull the front out a little bit. Okay. I don't think we have enough. But this will be our last spot. Two, four should be fine for. Four should be fine for right now. This makes that makes me even more upset that I didn't have that freak. It's like it's like one thing if I didn't have like the constructor connected to the shelter, so I would just have like a hundred eight kits or what go and I could just craft up a bunch of wire. It didn't even leave this spot, so it be just sat there. Twenty five left over after connecting these wires. This to here. And 
And when it's yellow, it just means that it might be intersecting with um, something. But as you can see, it's not. So, um, okay, so those are all connected. Um, that's fine because we need to go over here. We have four four burners, so we're gonna four stacks biomass. Um, plates and rods we have eight plates, eighty three rods. Um, still we're burning wood. One, two, three, four, five stacks of biomass. Picked. rods that we need okay still burning perfectly awesome i guess i could have came over and did that but we'll pull out our fifth biomass burn and we're going to place it okay and then let's connect up power and Load these up. Now they're all loaded up. They're got power going. Power line. So come out here. Boom. Connected up now. This will probably turn into our main. We'll probably get this will probably all go away, and this one connecting there, and then that way. But for now, this is gonna work. So these should be burning fuel. Yep, we're producing 30 megawatts of power. So now we're pulling, pumping out 150 megawatts of power just from right here. Wonderful. Uh, that is a create a power grid. That is that. Accomplished. Next, we need to automate biomass. So, we're going to go ahead and see if we can do this. Space we have. So, we're going to put, and we're going to. So, I'm just going to. Put one there. Put one there. Um, hey, we got for now. Okay, the automating biomass, this little biomass plant, um, is going to change the upgrade it obstacle biofuel, but for now, um. Gonna throw down a constructor. There. Found two constructors. Need a little bit more foundation. That should be okay. Uh, and then we go and for the first time we are going to put down our our merge. Um, you'll notice, and this is why I also made it that transparent, that more white color, so it looks more transparent when. It Ooh, it's harder to see where the green arrow is at. Uh, the green arrow is where the red arrows are what's going to go in, and then the green arrow is where it's going to come out. So the red arrow has one output and three inputs. The splitter has one input and three outputs. Um, you don't have to use all the inputs or outputs. Well, on a merger, you don't have to use all the inputs. On the uh, splitter, you don't have to use all the outputs. On a splitter, uh, you're not using all the outputs, obviously, varies how much is going to be going out. So if you have 60 going in, you use two. The outputs, you're going to have 30 coming out. If you use all three, you'll have 20 coming out of you. So it. So, depending on what you want to do to be able to balance your, your belts and get things to where they need to go is how many different outputs you have. So anyways, we're going to use the merger here. We're going to put it down here. Um, we're going to grab our conveyor belt, uh, come out to the middle. You can either rotate your mouse wheel and then kind of go out to 
squares, and it'll be a nice little 90 degree angle. There. Or go out to where it intersects like this, um, back up two squares, click, click again, and then click. Nice. 90 degree. Take our belt right here. So now we'll have biomass wood made in this one. And we'll have this connected here to make biomass. And then they will come together. This is obviously not going to go well because this makes 300 biomass per minute. And this makes 60. So technically we have 360 biomass per second or per minute coming out of here. Now, I haven't really touched on it much, but if you look at our logistics and our conveyor belts, transports up to 60 resources per minute used to move resources between buildings. So the most this thing can carry is 60 per minute. So you're definitely going to have backups going on. That's fine. It's going to happen. But uh, so we have this one set to leave. So we're going to put all of our leaves in here. Set to wood. So we're going to put all of our wood in here. And then we'll connect it to power. We have power already on this grid, so we'll just come bring this, extend it further out. Bring it to about here, should be good. Put that there. Bring it over. We'll put it right here. And now we'll be producing biomass. Our biomass will be when we come fill up these generators, we just Right here, grab the five stacks we need, load them up, and then. Um, but we will still need to continue running out, harvesting, grabbing the. Um, it'll become easier to get the chainsaw, and you can take down quite a bit of wood pretty quickly. Um, in the first episode, where I kind of was running around taking all those leaves, a uh, good healthy amount of wood um, cut down with the chainsaw. So, get a pretty good stack there um doing that i'm gonna grab a few leaves throw them in the that biomass container the container for the biomass I'm going to go ahead check off automate biomass and we have completed everything we wanted for this that i wanted for this episode is good so we have a few minutes here while i do this uh clean up this will make up for the long episode uh for episode one and like i said depending on what the objectives are for the episode um is what you're going to you know is going to kind of determine the length um i might have multiple objectives my one objective might just be set up uh set up rotor factory get rotors going something along those um, that is one step that will take a whole episode because we have to get, in order to get rotors going, we have to get reinforced plates going and I believe it's reinforced, no, no, no. Is it reinforced plates? Yeah, it's reinforced, no, oh, that's, yeah, it's reinforced plates. No. Wow, I'm all over the place. It's rods and screws. Yeah, so you have to have rods and screws, but, um, I was thinking of, uh, the other thing it's the adaptive smart plates anyways so yeah we're gonna grab all this uh, i think i might tear down that one biomass burner by the base because we're gonna or by the hub i don't i'm not gonna need it anymore there i mean it's gonna get moved basically from there to our power grid um i kind of want to start cleaning up this hub area because this is all gonna get turned into a factory too. So, and actually, with this too, take this down, all of this, get some power. I would just get all that over. Biomass plant. Concrete going over there, which is good. So what I'm going to do is uh, we'll drop this off. We'll jump up, uh, find a good vantage for our factory, and set up uh, our to-do list for the episode. I think that's something I'll the end of episode, uh, especially if they've gone short. Um, 
kind of outline what our goal for the next episode. While it's all fresh in my mind, like I might go, I am going to record probably one or two more episodes today. Um, today being Sunday. Uh, I don't have a lot going on today. My wife uh, is at the theater show, um, so he's actually off doing it now. Uh, I'm kind of just chilling, so I've got lots of time on my hands and bump out a few of these videos and the series started uh, while it's fresh. So, yeah, here's a good vantage point. Um, okay, so just to outline what we did, we created our power grid, or at least started it. This might be too noisy. Um, so we started our power grid. Uh, it's not done. Uh, we'll probably add another five biomass burners in here by the time we're switching over. We might need a few more, but I'm also thinking that separate factories, like if we build a factory over there with iron, That'll probably be on a separate power. Um, we got our uh, wires automated over here, which let's check on that. Let's see how many wires that we would gather. I need 350. Perfect. Actually, that's enough to get us the next milestone. Um, we got uh, our wires automated, and then we also got our biomass automated sitting at the 41 minute mark so that's actually probably a really good time to all this episode i was thinking i would possibly and i might look at it real quick, um grab my rods and i might just look at see about hand i know i said we were going to automate the screen but i think it'd be good to finish the episode the milestone and the not only a milestone but the end of tier one so let's see we can make enough screw this won't take too much time and actually while we're doing this we can plan out our next uh to do this so to do this for the next episode we are going to uh, um we are going to begin uh in factory in uh, iron factory I so we're gonna have uh, that be like a um, why don't we just say uh, yeah in factory uh, Iron plates, or plates, iron plates. Iron rods. Oh. Those actually say screw factory. Screw slash plate back. Um, I can't think of anything else. Um, because I'm not sure how long that's gonna take. But maybe we will pick a milestone. We'll see. Maybe we'll say milestone. Let's see what our next mile. All right. So field research. And this is going to take unlocked. off. Map has been unlocked. We've got more uh, inventory space, and we also have a extra hand uh, free now. Also unlocked molecular analysis. We need three more uh, reinforced iron plates for it, and we don't quite need it. We can build that. You know what? We're gonna put that on our. Okay, and then milestone. Now we are done with tier one, so we're on a tier two. So we can do part assembly, obstacle clearing, jump pads, resource sync bonus program, and logistics mark two. We're gonna start with part assembly. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and select that milestone. 
and uh, that'll be another goal for our Okay, so there we go. Um, that is going to do it. So just a quick recap one more time. Um, we got our grid, power grid started along with automating our biomass uh, fuel. Um, we also have wires uh, automated up top. Um, again, we have concrete over there and over here being made and then iron plates and iron rods, which we are going to maximize Basically, that's what the screw plate factory is going to do. It's going to maximize the consumption of iron. Um, what I'm going to do before we do anything is I'm going to actually shut this off. Both of them. We're going to uh, reduce our, our fuel consumption a little bit. And by the time it gets through all this, and these are all backed up. By the time it gets through this, I should have enough iron plates and rods to at least get the factory started and get these hooked back up on um, foundations and have four smelters smelting the 120 iron ore I have coming out of it. That's why I'm not even using this one yet because we're going to make sure we have these maximized before we even touch this. Alright guys, um, tune in uh, for your ne the next episode, uh, episode 3, and we'll be tackling uh, the to-do list we have for that. Until next time, I will catch you then. Bye.